All right, folks, last video of the evening. Reloading Bench back with you again. Last video of the evening, I guess, is an irrelevant term because it all just depends when these make it up to the channel. Uh, I'm probably not going to make a, a compilation of any more lathe upgrade videos. I think I'm on number four right now, and they're packed full of me unbagging shit. And uh, it's miscellaneous stuff. Miscellaneous, you know, little little items. I think one of my most recent um, was like a deburr tool, which is universal for doing stuff in the garage and hobbies and whatnot. But this, as I was doing some of my machining to make my lathe stop, uh, again, nothing I do is precision-based, <laughs> intentionally or not. Uh, and when I tend to do it, I can't because... Um, that lathe is not a precision machine, and by that I mean, you know, the tailstock and the cross slide and the compound. Uh, there's just, you know, there's nothing there to give me any type of accuracy. So if I wanted a, a particular depth of cut for drilling uh, using the tailstock uh, and or the compound or the cross slide, again, there's no... There's no uh, accuracy, or I can't repeat the exact same thing if I was milling. Like, oh, I just need to mill, you know, a thousandth of an inch. Well, you know, for me to to hand turn any of the, the wheels to a thousandth of an inch, you know, good luck on being accurate. So uh, I decided to take the plunge and do what I would call a significant, oh, this is tape pretty good, a significant addition. I'm not going to call this an upgrade. I'm going to call this an addition. So these are uh, the box and these goodies are from our friends at Little Machine Shop. Very fast. Very fast shipping. Uh, this was ordered and then it showed up three days later. Uh, and I don't know if that's due to the holiday rush or other, but uh, I'll call it good. And uh, it's nice cardboard. I don't know why I obsess with cardboard quality, but I do. And uh, it's legit. And I'm going to, let's see, okay, that looks like a catalog. Looks like my paper and a catalog of stuff related to, you know, what I may or may not want to order. Always nice, uh, but uh, I, I go online and make sure I get the right thing. Don't trust the paper so much. But uh, this is a set. Oh, this is pretty nice. Uh, haven't seen these before. Bubble tubes. Oops, and I dropped something that was part of the order. Okay, cool, that's that. Let me get this out of the way. And pick up what I dropped. Ooh, I don't know if those are the right size. I think those might be too small. Yes, these might go back. I think I needed M, M8s, not M6s. Oh, well. Uh, that is not worth shipping back based on the cost. I think those were two bucks. Uh, metric, a six, an eight, or whatever. All right, so these two items... Uh, I'm going to guess this is, so these are going to be, uh, this one I think is for the tailstock. Yes. All right. So these are DROs, digital readouts. And I looked at a bunch of DROs online and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to invest in that kind of fancy schmancy, uh, for, you know, ones that you mount to the slides and then you mount it to the top blah 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 so um, my intent was to do something a little more i'll call it uh scale to the scale in terms of uh, cost and feature to the actual lay this is a cheap shit lay so i'm not going to buy high-end stuff and i don't want to go down you know, the cable mounting and all that other crap path. So I'm going to put this tailstock DRO on my tailstock. And like I said, this would allow me to be 
more consistent with you know how, de how the the depth of a particular uh, drill or cut or whatever you know how far in the tailstock is going. Um, I thought that this was independent and small enough. Let's see the quality of the aluminum. Yeah, not bad. Looks like a bead blast finish. Again, nothing, nothing special. Again, nothing, nothing special in terms of. Uh, again, this is, this is not uh, expensive stuff. It's, I mean, it's not free, but it's not uh, super high end expensive. Uh, but that's the idea, just to add this DRO to the end of the tailstock. So uh, I wasn't going to get the tailstock um, because my first thought was when I was thinking about this because I'd seen somebody else do it online. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I put that away in my my memory bank uh, but then when I started doing some of the machining I thought well if you're gonna do the X and Y axis why not do the tailstock as well so you have completeness sake so that you take the guessing out of anything you might be doing so this is the same thing which is kind of funny you think this would be the big box uh, this DRO kit is for the slide, the two parts of the of the carriage slash compound slash cross slide. So the idea behind this is take out the old screws. I will not be making a video of me doing this. There are other videos of other people doing it, so you know, I don't think it makes sense for me to do it. But uh, it's kind of two of everything, you know, uh, one for each slide, one for each handle slash whatever. And these hopefully are, actually I don't even see, I don't even see those handles uh, unless they're hidden away somewhere. Not seeing it there. Not seeing it there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Maybe it's below. Oh, that's kind of sucky. Well, maybe you're supposed to use your uh, your own handles. I don't know. Obviously, uh, different pieces. Let me see. Uh, let's see if it's included in the parts. What is eight? Eight is the screw package. No, no. Uh, remove the screw skin the cross slide handle. Well, I guess uh, I guess you have to supply your own handles. That's kind of interesting. I would have thought it would have been complete with. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I'll pick up some handle balls because I don't like my handles as much as I like these handleballs. So, again, uh, I, I will not be doing this uh, live. I've seen the videos. Uh, you're essentially taking some screws out, putting some new screws in, mounting this, uh, turning it on, and booyah, you're, you're in business. Uh, obviously, I'm probably oversimplifying a significant amount, but uh, that's kind of that. And that goes back here, that goes back there, and uh, we're good for now. So this will be uh, what I'll call future project, but uh, you'll see everything uh, as a one and done. So the next time uh, we speak about this project, um, you'll see this video at the beginning, 
as well as uh, me doing the ending uh, to this. So, more later. Hello, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. We are off tripod, so please forgive the shaky hand. And uh, we're going to go over the, the DROs, the X, Y, and tail stock. This one was easiest to, uh, to do, most straightforward, simplest. Uh, works like a charm. Hopefully you can see that lighting up, or rather not lighting up, but at least uh, numbers working as I move that out. And we can switch between millimeter and inches quite easily. And then either reset to zero or hold for off. Again, this one's real easy. So everything from here out, uh, that, and then the uh, screw was uh, all new. So uh, this one's the most complete. Uh, for the cross bar, cross slide, slash saddle, slash uh, compound, uh, this one was easy. Uh, the only problem I ran into on this one was uh, the screw being a tad too long and I had to put uh, a washer in because they show ball uh, levers. I don't have ball levers. I have a much cheaper version of my lathe. Uh, but again, uh, and this one, uh, no, I take it back. This one, the battery was dead. Uh, these two, the battery... Uh, batteries worked. I think they are uh, 2032, so you know, not a big deal. You know, that's an Amazon, uh, eBay slash find, and the light is a little brutal, but again, uh, really nice. Uh, I have these, uh, what I'll call tightened enough that uh, there's no looseness. They, these will move uh, when I say they will move, um, so there's no. Uh, uh, no moving around and I got rid of the slop in the uh, carriage by my janky carriage lock and then uh, this one was the most time consuming because the two little uh, Allen screws that go in on this piece this piece did not line up to the holes exactly like this piece nor this piece so uh, I had to do a little bit of uh, uh, boring out to make that fit and now again we are golden as we we move so all is uh, all is relatively well and uh, this project uh, is done uh, this one uh, the only time I see really using uh, this one well, if I can turn it off uh, using this one is probably when I'm doing milling uh, the, the uh, as I milled my uh, my wonderful little uh, piece of brass in there for my carriage lock. So, uh, methinks this one uh, mainly for milling, uh, much more uh, use in terms of uh, what I'm doing with the cross slide and then obviously the tail stack uh, with uh, drilling and or anything that's going in that direction that I need a measurement for. So, I'm going to call this a pretty cool upgrade. This uh, this brings it to a new level in terms of me going from eyeballing to actually knowing exactly uh, what the cut measurement um, will be. So that is that. Uh, very, very simple upgrade. Uh, again, no real skill required. Just follow the directions and put the stuff where it's supposed to be and you're good.